Mellow greetings, Tubians. Ronan Tier here, and we are playing Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. And our tomatoes made us a good bit of money yesterday, so that was helpful. Uh, now, at the moment, we need to be focusing much on mining and the creation of lumber to complete a few quests. We like quests, and nothing happening today. Perfect. We can just focus on getting down to farming. Oh, we also need to get the recipe for hot milk. I have no idea how to get that. Uh, sunny today. Sunny tomorrow. And raining on Tuesday. Perfect. We do like a bit of rain. Uh, in our last episode, we did meet the mysterious girl, who I now suspect may actually be this edition of the Witch Princess. Which is good, I've missed Witchy. Oh, and we have some crops actually ready to harvest. Nice! Alright, let's water what is not ready. We definitely need to be selling some crops. Oh, some of the eggplants are ready. I don't even remember what half this stuff is. Oh, these were the tomatoes that we harvested in the last episode. Thank you, eggplants. Hopefully you're worth a bit of money because you've really expensive seeds. And we're out of water. I can see we've got a lot of puddles that we need to clean up. Haven't actually tried it in this one, but I wonder if we can sell direct to stores. Alright, we'll finish the watering, then we'll harvest. We'll go see if we can afford some seeds if we need to fill in any blanks. And I want to get some fodder seeds to put in the enclosure that we built for Melinda and Meeples. And we want to build an enclosure for Madame Cluck. So we've got a fairly busy day ahead of us. We don't need to worry about picking up any outfits at least, so that's advantageous. And we've got to keep our makers running as much as is possible. Alright. I can't remember, were the pumpkins a multi spawn one or. Well, it's letting me water them. Might not be like Harvest Moon where you can't water things that are... Alright. Nope, they are not. Oh, and they're only one... ...thing, so they're probably going to be worth a bit of blunt, but... Do we have enough money to replace them? Always the question. And the eggplants. And the peppers. And these guys are definitely a multi harvest, so that's fine. I wonder if I can turn the peppers into. Oh! Oh! Seed maker! That is going to be handy. Let's see what that's going to cost us to make. Oh, we need gold. Ugh, we're not going to be able to make that for a while. Alright. Let's see what this is all worth. Eggplants. 121 each. Alright, let's sell seven of those. Pumpkins, two ninety seven each, that's handy. We'll sell four of those. Peppers, 112 each. Uh, we will sell 17 of those. That should be helpful. Let's sell that one thing of butter, because I just like to register having sold one of everything. Um, and have I sold a yogurt before? Let's sell a yogurt. 
Alright, so that will see us in the money tomorrow, which is going to be really useful. Because I need to replace those pumpkins. Let's get these guys going. And put that stuff away. So evidently I didn't do it before I went to bed last time. Oh, and let's water the... And miss entirely, because I'm hopeless. Alright, so we're going to have to clean up this area. So that we can put out the fences. We're going to need at least... Um, what's going to be a good number? If I've got three there, I'll put five in with... Hey, Madam Cluck! You got a star! I still don't know what that does. And some more notes. And you're awesome. Now let's put you outside. We'll clean up your little forage area in a bit. Okay. Oh, we do still get trees in here. There you go, Meeple. You're a happy little sheepy. And Belinda is now giving two milk. That's handy. I really do need to work out how to get more animals. Let's put you guys out and hopefully it's not a huge space for you to wander in, but it's better than nothing. butter and we'll make some more yogurts. Alright, let's head up to town. We'll put the fodder away in a bit. Oh, I want a cute puppy. May actually be able to afford one tomorrow. What's today's quest? Glass rock. I can do that. We can do glass rock. Oh, not what I wanted to do. Thank you. Let's go see if we can grab some fodder seeds. Actually, no, we'll do that on our way back. Hi guys, I would stop, but I'm busy. Huh. Is that something we can build in our house, or...? Alright, glass rock. Glass rock. Just one. Alright, so we need to try and buy pumpkin seeds and fodder seeds. Fodder is the primary. We're also going to need to talk to Nigel about upgrading our house to see if we can get a bigger fridge. Oh, let's deliver the rock. How do we get a bigger fridge? Oh, alright, I'll say hi. Uh. Getting rid of withered crops you don't need is hit him with a hammer. Check. I'm very fond of hammers. If you want to knit something, then knit something. I don't think it's the season, but... Oh, knitting in summer. Ugh. Deliver! Alright, if anyone knows how to get the hot milk recipe, please leave some information in the comments down below. Because I have no idea how to unlock that. Is that Nigel's? No. I will be back once I've got some more ore. Clemens? Hey, Nigel! Let's see. Okay, we can buy a well, we can buy a coop, a barn, or a mushroom log. 
Uh, we can increase sizes. That's going to take a lot of stuff, though. Um, expanding the house is also going to take a lot of stuff and a lot of money. Oh, there's got to be a better way to make money. I look at chair, bookshelf, paper lantern. All right, I can't buy a fridge at this point. So potentially the fridge is just going to expand with the house. Maybe I should stop hoarding everything and actually sell some stuff. Hi, Cindy. Move, please. Thank you. goods. Now, can I afford nine of you? Oh, just barely. And some fodder. So I need three, two, three, so I need eight. <sighs> so much for having money. Do you sell lamps, table clocks, clocks, bookstands, rugs? Okay, well you are selling some new stuff, which is nice, but... Ah. Let's say hi to you. Let's get out of here. You are pretty, Rena. I really want your jumper. Sweater vest, shirt, thing. What's it with the hooja, even? Now, fodder. Sow some seeds. Get our grass to... No! Whew. Plant some more pumpkins. Yay! Ooh. All right, we also need to come up with some money-making schemes because we're not making much money. That should hopefully keep you guys happy. I only want one over, that's fine. So, I do love watching Meeple leap about, that's just awesome. That'll help a bit. I haven't even been down to see if there are any salt rocks or that out today. I do love a busy day. I love it when I'm struggling to get everything done. That's just... That's what this is supposed to be. It's supposed to be Nellia versus nature. It's... Alright, I don't want to go mining today. I'll save that for tomorrow. So let's kill some more trees. I will really need to do some more fishing at some point too. Just because it's nice, easy food. We 
really, really need to start backstocking. I've been too slack with the prepping of stuff and things. Uh, we're also going to have to go around and build out all of those puddles. Let's see me eat some fishy after we cut down this tree, which hopefully won't kill us. That's a huge help, but apparently I don't like the taste. Okay, I'm full. Huh, interesting. There's a limit on how much you can eat. Huh, I've never seen the game do that before. That's what that little symbol there is meaning. It's meaning I'm full. I'm not miserable, I'm just not hungry. Clever fellows. I wonder if that's based on the number of hearts restored or if there's something else behind it. There's a little critter up there and I want to catch it and talk to it, but it's blue. Some sort of blue bird, judging by the hopping. Alright, I think that's about all I'm going to be able to do without risking passing out. Let's just have a quick look about to see if there are any forageables in this forest. Of doom. Let's see. <gasps> my bag is full. No. Put my fishing rod away for now. There we go. All right, and none of the weird ones are up. Okay. Kids have gone away for the night, that's good. Alright, Madam Clock, tomorrow, I promise, we will finalise your fencing. So let's put away you, you go here, you go here, you stay in my pockets. Uh, I think that's it for there. Put away the flour and salt. We'll put the seeds in there just because I've got nowhere else for them really. I need to start. I need to stop hoarding and start selling stuff. We'll put the wool in here because that's a raw material. And I've got nothing made. But it can go in the fridge. Tomorrow we're going to hit up the mines. And the problem is that if I skip going to town, my one last spot, if I skip going to town then I lose out on potential cash for minor items. But if I go to town I lose time. Therein lies the trick. Alright. Nelly, I have a bath. And we'll go to sleep. And we'll get up and we'll do this all again. Only. We are going to make some more fences. Fence in our chicken. And we were getting a goodly bit of money out of the crops that we sold. Yep. Hey! Grocery store's got more stuff. 
Ah, so if I sell the thing, the grocery store gets it and I can buy it again. Ah, okay, see? And there is always a reason why I sell one of everything, or at least try to. Uh, today is the 9th. Who's that? Laura's birthday. Uh, Laura, I hope you like grilled fish. Uh, sunny. Rain tomorrow. And sunny the day after. Actually, Laura, let's make you a dessert. You look like the dessert type. I'll make you a pudding. And... we we'll use the one star milk. And the sugar. Alright, there you go. Oh, I got a new title. I got a home cooking title. So maybe once we get the outside fixed up a bit, we dedicate a day to doing some cooking. Oh, and an adept chef. That looks like my corn's ready to go. And these guys. Yay, we're making money! It's what we like to see. We're making money. So we can buy more seeds. And that, of course, is the other caveat. We have to make sure that we can always afford to replace what we can no longer harvest from. Oh, I can't wait to see what the silver watering can is going to do for us. Also useful, I hadn't realised that. I can move with the watering can. I need not fear that I've accidentally miswatered again. This will be the last one here. Kind of remember half of what I'm growing anymore. Alright. Everything's watered. Let's go harvest some stuff. So I'm going to need to go buy some more zucchini seeds. Uh, is the store even open today? Nothing. Harvest. Oh, you're harvestable. Ah, oh, green peppers. Should hopefully be worth some chunky money. There, and the corn. Oh good, corn is a regrow. I wonder if I can use that to make better animal feed. Can I have corn fed sheepies? Alright, I think that's all my harvesting. And probably most of my bag space. Alright, let's sell you. Oh, I've got nine corn. Let's sell four. I've got 18 zucchini. Let's sell nine. Uh, where are the green peppers? Are there? And let's sell ten of you. I think that was everything I just harvested. Yeah, good. Good, 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 good. I'm going to need somewhere other than the fridge to start storing all this stuff. Because I'm running out of space. 
Again. Uh, no. Also no. Oh, I'm having a day of it. Let's put the mail away. I know it's not ideal to be keeping things in boxes outside the house, but I don't have anywhere else. Hello, Madam Gluck. You got a big happy sunny smile on your face today? You're an amazing chicken. You're gonna love having your own little enclosure to run around in. Just as soon as I break up all those rocks. Oh, and water the grass. Yep, you're a little tired. I'm a little tired. We're all a little tired. What the grass? What the grass? Hi guys. Brush a sheepy. No, oh, you got a star. Does that mean you'll give me a wall? It should be three bags full by now, man. Do you need brushing? No? Okay. I have happy critters. Which is what we like. some stuff on and go see what the town folk want from us for today. We'll make a butter and a yogurt because we've got a ton of milk lying around and we need zucchini seeds and we need no just zucchini seeds. Oh hi! Hey, people to talk to that I haven't spoken to 20 billion times. Uh, Victor's out to lunch. Good, I can avoid him. One coal lump requested by Beth. I can absolutely do that for you, Beth. We'll do that, and then we'll come back and we'll see Laura and give her her birthday present. Hi, Jack. Yes, I'm deliberately ignoring you. Oh, I'm guessing baby Mikey? Possibly Jacobo? Jacobo? And, oh, we've only got one lump of coal left, so... Definitely need to hit the mines. Oh, while I'm here, let's put away that sage that we picked. Yeah. I should probably build myself another storage box. I wonder if I can put the storage boxes in the house. Because if I can do that, I can use that for spare food. Did you just try and headbutt me, Jack? That's a bit mean. I know I'm deliberately ignoring you, but there's no need to be like that. One coal lump deliver. Excellent. That's the kind of balance that we're looking for. Let's go see Laura. And then try and find out where the heck we get hot milk from. Have a pudding. <laughs> Is this a birthday present for me? Awesome! Mm -hmm. I am pretty awesome, yeah. Yeah, the salon's cool.
Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Cutscene. What? Is it that much of a marvel to see a man fishing? You are welcome to observe if you wish, provided that you do not alarm the fish. Many have stopped to curiously behold my fishing habits, yet you are the first to walk up beside me. Do you have an interest in fishing as well, by chance? I'm something of an angler. Indeed, I thought as much. I took this up as a hobby of sorts upon my arrival here. I was insufferably pre preoccupied at home, but here I can truly be at ease. Or oh, so I had thought. I see you have come for me once more. Cease your hiding and reveal yourself. I just said to. Meow! Oh, you have a kitty! Ah, a cat. He is undoubtedly after my fish. He prowled about yesterday as well, though he remained hidden. He is docile at present, but there is no telling when he might bear his fangs and strike. You should be on guard as well. Dude, you are way too dramatic. And you're cute, but... Way too dramatic. Hey, Yori. Hmm. How invigorating. This is the perfect weather for a stroll. Uh, let's say hi to you lot. Hi, fam. Yeah. Amelia won't stop bugging me about checking out the salon. Maybe I should get my hair trimmed. Well, it has been a while since I talked to you guys. The new girl at the salon is an expert. Oh, the beauty salon? Mommy uses it a bunch. Yeah, I really should stop talking to you guys more often. Oh, Yokopo! Hey, Nelia! Just the farmer I was hoping to see. I could use a sympathetic ear. Care to help out your old pal, Yokopo? I'm listening. Thanks a million! See, I accidentally dropped my wallet in the ocean, and, uh, the ocean's pretty big, so I'm gonna need some help. You in? Oh, how'd I drop it? I was eating a banana, and I may or may not have mistaken my wallet for the banana peel when I threw it out, so, yeah. You go on and start looking. I need to warm up first. Yeah, over there, in that area. Or maybe... Was it somewhere deeper? I can't quite remember. Ah! Oh, no. She's drowning. Hold on! I'll go get help! Right over here, where you can see bubbles rising. That's Nelia! Gotcha. Wait right here. I'll go get her. You okay, Nelia? Thank goodness. Looks like you're breathing fine. Yeah, if I hadn't brought you back to shore when I did, you would have been in serious trouble. But what were you doing in the ocean with your clothes on? It's hard to move around when your clothes get wet, and the rip currents around here are brutal. Well, I guess I'll save the lecture for later. Oh, yeah. I'll chew her out later. Thanks, Laura. By the way, I found a wallet close by the way you were drowning. It must have fallen from your pocket. Ha! <laughs> Funny story about that. That's actually mine. Wait, what? So you're telling me Nellia was searching the tides for your wallet? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I'm really sorry. Yokobo, next time you call me first before you make some innocent bystander waltz into another rip current. We clear on that? Yes, ma'am. Crystal clear. You're welcome. Hey, Masaki. <laughs> oh, no, Lin. Oh, I haven't spoken to you for a while either. Sorry. I am a bad, bad townsperson. In my defense, I'm just trying to avoid ah. cutscenes. Okay, definitely Ford Nine Zucchini seeds. Perfect. That's the look. Uh, I'm gonna be able to get a rabbit. I would like to get a rug or something for my house, but not yet. Nelly is still in survival mode. We're not up to uh, decorative mode yet.
Alright, so it's all the deliveries and birthdays and everything taken care of. The day is mostly done, sadly. But hopefully we've still got some time to head down to the mines. Although I did promise Madam Cluck that I would get her area fenced up. I also don't know if I can do that while she's out and about, so... Alright, Madam Cluck. You have been good to me. You have been amazeballs. You deserve to have your own nice, neat, fenced-in little area. Even if it is going to cost me a fortune in time. Oh, I don't even have my sickle out. I should do that. Alright, I think that's most of your area cleared. Let's get my sickle back. And we will... Hopefully that clears up enough area. I oh, will we'll need to clear that away. Alright, let's get some lumber. Let's put away those rocks. Pull out those logs. And we've already got a gate. We will put away the logs. Hey, I am erudite. Oh, uh, you went here. Let's put that clay away. Let us see it. There it was. All right, Mademoiselle Cluck. Let us begin. You shouldn't need as huge an area as the moo cows have. Why do you need more space around the back of the group? Right. At least I know I can just pull all this apart later. to close off the area until you're within it. There you go. Oh, you're kidding me. Take that. 
take a lesson from this, folks. Always wake out the wares before you plant your crops. Oh, I'll finish this off once that grass has grown. Perfect. Let's go put all of this away. Excellent. Let's go clear some space for the mayo maker. Actually, I shouldn't need to. There we go. Alright, we're starting to look like a right proper little farm out here. We have the amazing land of many makers. Alright, so next episode we'll actually go get some mining done. Get all of our silver together. Look at what that fulgurite does for us. And maybe look at lying down some paths. Hmm. But for now, let's go fix up our makers. And then I think we're going to call it an episode. I can build you out those last couple of puddles. Madam Cluck, can you actually cross the grass? You can. Alright, we'll find out shortly, I guess. Go to bed, Madam Clock. It's late. Let's go put some stuff away because apparently I got a little overzealous and we're out of space. Find the iron ore, the fulgurites, uh, clay. You get the flower. Yeah, we're going to need to look at making another storage box for all the spare food I'm hoarding. The downside of being a hoarder of food. Alright, everything is growing. We'll just make sure that Madam Clock actually got away safely. Put everything else away. Madam Cluck, you get home? Yeah, you did good. I'm fairly sure you can just hop straight over that grass, madam, so. Grab a couple. I have already forgotten. Yeah, and eventually we'll. 
cover over that grass and uh, pop it all away. All right, Nellie, bath time. All right, so in next episode, we're going to be doing some heavy duty mining. I'm going to keep logging stuff into our makers. Um, and hopefully we'll start to stock up enough to actually make some maneuvers. For the moment, this is Ronan Tia signing off and we'll catch you in the next one.